Well, welcome back to the channel. And if you've been following us at all, in our previous videos, we've been showing you how to effectively sharpen chainsaws with a drill, bench grinder, the handle of a file. Now today we're gonna to be showing you another pretty decent method, not as good as the other ones, but a good method for the poor man. So today we have a bucket of rocks and we're gonna be demonstrating how to sharpen this chain with a bucket of rocks. Nah, what? Well, because as uh, you and I both know, times are tough right now in America with the current deconstruction of uh, society as we know it, which we won't go into right now. People have a hard time, you know, I don't paying their bills, buying a $4, file at a hardware store. They can barely afford their $5 Starbucks coffee. No judgment here. Today, I'm gonna to show you a very cost effective, if you're on a tight budget, how to sharpen your chainsaw. So if, you, if you've noticed when your chainsaw gets uh, get a couple miles on it, you've been cutting a lot of trees, you've been cutting a lot of pine trees, got a lot of sap, got a lot of oil grime on it, um, and your bar and your chain is lacking that former luster that it had at one point. Well, this is the method um, we're about to show you, we can get that, that shine back to your chainsaw. I mean, have you ever noticed when you, uh, you go to a riverbed and all those nice little rocks in the riverbed are nice and smooth, nice and shiny? Well, that's because they've been rubbing up against each other for a very long time. And you can do that same thing with your chain, which I'm about to demonstrate. Take your chainsaw and make sure it's vertical. And uh, you just go ahead and place it in there and give it a nice, you know, get to the very bottom. You want to cover as much chain as possible, okay? And uh, kind of rock it back and forth. Give it a nice, you know, give it a nice twist. I mean, you want to mimic the flow of river, like river rocks, how they get, uh, they're just tumbling across each other after so many years. And uh, you want to get that nice shine and that nice, you know, smooth edge. You can do the same thing. So you just keep, keep shaking it. Go back and forth, go up and down. Almost like you're, almost like you're churning butter, but uh, you're not churning butter. No. Just like that. And once you got one side done, you can go ahead, you know, work the other side, just like that. Make sure you apply the brake. Get in there nice and deep. And this is obviously still quicker than uh, using a file. So, I mean, we're on a job site and all I can find is a bucket. I mean, I'll utilize this method any day of the week. So, just give it a, get a, get it nice and... See, and there you have it. All that sap, all that oil, that grime is now gone. You got a nice clean bar, nice clean chain, ready for service. For all you poor people out there on a very tight budget, struggling to make ends meet, this method's for you. If you went out and you bought yourself a $2,000 saw, you know, you can't afford to buy a file, hey, it's all right. Go get yourself a bucket, get yourself some rocks, and you can do this. And if you use this on a job site, let us know. Don't be shy, make sure to comment. Also make sure to like and subscribe to our channel because that helps us reach more people. Thanks for watching. So this method is for the um, a budget for the lower income society. Let me do it again.